Sustaining peace is about building a common vision for a society. Inclusive and people-centered development, the rule of law, good governance and human rights all need to be accounted for. Member states have articulated this vision through the parallel resolutions of the UN General Assembly and Security Council on Sustaining Peace in 2016. Liberia is a good example. Liberia is going through a crucial transition. The peacekeeping mission is drawing down and general elections will be held on 10th October 2017. After the years of suffering through a civil war and the Ebola crisis, the people are continuing their faith in democracy and the building of credible government institutions. Liberians seek to continue to move towards sustainable, inclusive development. This requires a continued investment by Liberians, our government, and the international community. We recognize that sustaining peace does not lend itself to quick fixes. It must be a long-term commitment. In Liberia, despite several advances since the end of the civil war, some of the root causes of the conflict still plague the country. Corruption, marginalization, land reform, human rights violations, service delivery, economic diversification, equality, accountability, and security. How can we build sustainable peace in Liberia? In supporting Liberia through the transition, the UN must make full use of its toolbox and partner better for a holistic and inclusive response. The UN is currently implementing a new model in Liberia, the development of a peace-building plan. If successful, this could serve as an effective global peace-building solution. When the Security Council asked the United Nations to come up with a peace-building plan, everyone in Liberia came together to develop a comprehensive plan. The government of Liberia took the lead and many stakeholders from the civil society, political parties and others provided strong input. The Peace Building Commission also helped this process in Monrovia and coordinated international support. The United Nations, the World Bank and the European Union also joined this effort. The African Union and ECOWAS are also engaged and play an important role. There are long-term peace building priorities that were articulated in the Liberia Peace Building Plan and these are expected to be integrated into the government's development frameworks going forward. As the country prepares to go through these important transitions, it is imperative that the international community maintains focus, attention and sustained support to the country, people and government and ensure that the gains realized over the last several years are preserved and built upon. And in that context, it is also important for all actors in the international community to ensure that the predictability of political and financial support is assured so that what has been a success story in peacekeeping terms will continue to be a success story in peace building terms. And the country deserves it, the people deserve it, the region deserves it. As Liberians strive to build their future, they will look to the UN country team to support them. Different parts of the UN system will need to work together more efficiently and it is vital that there is more support from donors during this critical transitionary phase. Joint action with the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States and Mano River Union, who can all play a vitally strategic role, is also necessary. Partnerships based on comparative advantages of stakeholders that build knowledge and skills are the key to building a sustainable, peaceful Africa.